Hello there and thanks for joining me. I'd like to take you through the preparation of this old roof right the way through to how we insulate it uh, and cover it with an EPDM rubber membrane. So at the moment you can see we're stripping the old covering off. It was an old felt covering and you can see we've exposed all the old decking which we're going to do a small amount of repairs to it but actually this is in quite a good condition and especially because we're going over it with insulation we actually will be covering this up with boards so therefore it's slightly unevenness isn't the end of the world. Now you can see here uh, we're taking up the old membrane. Uh, in the background you'll see I'm actually there and I'm just about to fill in the gap where um, any debris would fall down into the old skylight area so um, that's being done now. The windows are open because we're going to have to take the windows out and deal with those because the new roof, roof covering uh, and insulation will actually make this roof higher and you'd never open the windows so the windows are going to be replaced so in behind there that's all been covered out already with dust sheets. So because this is going to be a warm roof the insulation is going to be on top of the decking so we're going to need to insulate from the decking down to the top of the wall and to do that we need to expose this gap clean out all the debris which is in between it and backfill it with insulation from the top of the wall to the bottom of the decking and that way we continue the insulation properties all the way around. Now the art of doing a roof like this is to work really quickly because we need to get the roof completely covered and waterproof by the end of the day. Not so much finished but waterproofed. So whilst I'm working out the skylight and how we're going to lay the insulation they're working from the other end of the roof laying the vapour barrier. Now the vapour barrier that we're using here is a really high quality vapour barrier. It should actually be called a vapour vapor control system. It controls the amount of vapor that can transfer through it into the insulation. This particular vapor control system is unbelievably strong. It's actually designed to bridge over gaps which are 125 mil wide. So as I said to you before, the decking isn't particularly that good on this particular roof, but you can see what a lovely job it's doing by actually bridging over the whole lot. Now note the detail here. It goes up and around the skylight. It goes up the walls. By the time this vapor control is down, this actual roof will be waterproof. So now we fix down the insulation using firmly broken fixings. The insulation is cut and pushed tight up against all the walls, the skylight and all the way around the roof. Any gaps are backfilled using foam. Now the thermally insulated curb for the skylight is fitted over the insulation making sure that there's no chance of any thermal bridging at this particular point. Any gaps around the outside are all backfilled with foam. Now at this stage you can see that the insulation has come well above the lower level of the windowsill and if we'd have left the actual opening sashes in place we'd have never got them open. Whilst the insulation has been going down we've been backfilling all the gaps between all the joists. We've treated the end of all the joists with the primer and we've primed the new timber fascia board that's going to go over the top of this which is going to take the guttering. Now the customer has chosen to use timber because of the old property we're with. We could have used um, UPVC however he's chosen to go for timber which when you'll see at the end actually looks very very nice. Now let's just step back a, a stage or two because what I want to show you is what we've actually done before we put the fascia board on. You know I've insulated behind the fascia board which I'm actually painting now but there's a piece of wood above it. That piece of wood is there to stop the insulation from crumbling on the edge and once we've covered it with the vapour barrier which comes across the decking up and over the top of that piece of treated timber we butt the insulation directly up again it. We've then filled in between all the joists below and as you can see what I'm doing now is I'm painting the gutter board that goes over the top of that bit of insulation. Now the EPDM membrane has been down for quite some time and it's been able to relax and the creases that are in it from transport are slowly moving away. You can see here that the, the fascia boards have all been primed ready for uh, a top coat, an undercoat and a top coat. You can see the fixings of the insulation and you can see that the insulation is level with the edge of all the treated timber at the front and you can also see that the uh, vapour barrier comes up around and laps over the top. So we're now getting ready for putting the adhesive down and putting down all the EPDM rubber. 
Now the adhesive is down, we spend a lot of time actually going over the roof, trying to push out as much as we can in the way of air that is actually trapped underneath it. The membrane it does breathe, but very, very slowly. So it's very important for us now to actually get this as smooth as we can. So now all the flashings have been put on, there's actually a layer of dust over most of the roof which we're just sort of washing off with water. But you can see that the guttering looks really nice against the wooden fascia board. And above the guttering, over the edge of the timber that holds back the insulation, you can see that there's a black UPVC strip that terminates that. And that actually shows you the additional height of the roof now, because this roof is around about 125 mil higher than it was originally. Okay, now let's just have a look on the roof. I think the first thing that comes apparent when you actually go onto a new EBDM roof, especially when there's insulation underneath it, are all the marks that are showing through. Well, this can't be helped, it's actually part of the characteristics. We can see all the joints between all the insulation and we can see all the fixings. We can also see some slight ripples where the EPDM, when it was laid, ha was packed and it's got a slight uh, uh, a ridge. EPDM does shrink back slightly and those ridges will go. But none of this is detrimental. If I apply enough pressure, I can also slightly dent this. Again, it's not too much of a problem, but you don't want to be wearing shoes with uh, any sharp points in them. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope it's been a help to you. My name is Stephen from London, Flat Roofing.